Good evening and welcome to Capital D coming this evening from Swords in North County Dublin. On this evening's programme we have sports fans, drop stitches and a cold play video. But if I were to tell you that an event at the Helix a few days ago brought together a thousand young people, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was a talent show. And you'd be unlikely to guess that it was a liturgical performance. But that is exactly what Emmanuel is, a combination of populist church music and hymns performed by secondary students. We caught up with a few of the budding soloists. The Emmanuel programme brings liturgical music from the classrooms of Dublin onto the stage with its annual concerts, which this year took place at the Helix. The programme is a kind of religious music awareness initiative from the Archdiocese of Dublin and it has grown significantly since its inception five years ago. Times change and, and the young people change and their tastes and music change. So what we're trying to do is to adapt to the, the music of their time while at the same time encouraging them to, to learn th some of the music that has served the church uh, for, for many years. I was invited onto the Music Commission for the Diocese to look at music for young people. And one of the things that we were charged with back then was to come up with an innovative programme for, for young people to get new music into secondary schools. So the idea of Emmanuel came about at that stage. Although it is a musical programme, Emmanuel is primarily aimed at religion teachers who can integrate the music and singing into their lessons with a view to their classes performing on stage at the concerts, something that seems to motivate and excite the students. It's a huge opportunity and everything. It's crazy singing in front of like that many people. Yeah. I was saying to people I'm going to be so just they're just telling me like to be excited, less than nervous. So Now that wouldn't challenge anyone. <laughs> so it's like a lovely lullaby. Stand up. Come on, everyone up. You sound like a group of nuns. Before the choirs come to practice together, they spend many months practicing in their own schools. We're constantly practicing every Monday. And then if we if there's a competition coming up like on tourist tonight, um there'll be like severe practices going on every night. Miss Kinsler does be stressed out to the nines, uh, practice every day after school, lunchtime if we can do it. It does be so stressful. Emmanuel is not a competition and all schools are welcome to take part in the concerts. With so many performers collaborating, it's up to Ian as musical director to decide who will perform each song. A few weeks before the concerts, Ian gathers the soloists he has selected for rehearsals and some last minute performance pointers. That was just about like how you present yourself on stage or how you should sing your song and pronunciation of words and stuff like that. Because a lot of these students aren't actually music students themselves, they might be RE students and so on. Um, so the idea is to try and give them as much help and as, as encouragement as possible to uh, present themselves on stage for yeah. the night. Yeah. So when you're singing this, you should really, that should be projecting from you. Okay, He's just talking to us, telling us uh, kind of what to be like on stage and don't be fidgeting and stuff like that and say our words right because everyone's saying one instead of one and so he's telling us how to say I was looking up at you and love your singing like this Gather this one in Jesus Now you won't be heard, now I can be heard because the microphone's here so when I turn down I'm actually getting closer to the mic but if you're like that, you're not going to sing You have to hold your books out like that Okay? Too fast Pull it back a small bit, bit fast. Not... Further rehearsals happen on the days before the concerts. It's at that point that things really start to come together.
all the months of preparation, the shows went off without a hitch. Although it's unlikely that religious music will ever be more popular than pop, it seems that the Emmanuel programme really is succeeding in generating a lot of new interest in liturgical music. It's filtering out into parishes and it's, been, it's filtering out into the wider areas as well. So all of that combined, I think, is, is creating a whole new movement of liturgical music. And our hope is that over, over the years, as we continue with this programme, it will become more and more popular and more mainstream.